What's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. How are y'all today? So uh, we see that Walgreens is at it again. They are shutting down more locations, but not just any locations, distribution centers. So that is a major move as to what is happening. Um, please give this video a thumbs up as you come in and feel free to share it out as it does help the channel get out to more people. Um, we're going to jump right into it. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's just go right to what is happening. So Walgreens continues to cut costs with closures of two distribution centers. As it continues to cut costs, Walgreens Boots Alliance will now close two distribution centers in Florida and Connecticut. I got to make this bigger so I can see it. I should have already done that. But a girl can't see today. For some reason, the glare of this light is getting me. Um, so two distribution centers in Florida and Connecticut laying off hundreds of workers in the process. The Deerfield, Illinois-based retail and pharmacy giant is closing a center in Orlando, Florida, and another in Dayville, Connecticut. Some 646 workers will lose their jobs as a result. Walgreens spokesperson said in a statement, the last day of operation at both facilities is May 17th. So you have around, I would say 60 days, but just a little less than 60 days as today is the 20th. Affected employees will receive severance as well as separation pay. I don't see where they're saying for how long will they get that. They say they are focusing on aligning their operation structure to best serve their patients and customers. This includes an evaluation of their distribution center operations in order to streamline capacities to best support their stores. Either way it goes, hundreds of employees are losing their jobs. Uh, we are grateful for the many contributions the team members have made at those particular facilities, the retailer began evaluating costs and looking at areas to cut towards the end of last year after several quarters of lackluster performance and a dropping stock price. Last October, Walgreens announced that it planned to trim one billion with a B in costs with savings expected to be realized in the second quarter of the fiscal uh, 2024 year. That plan also involves Walgreens cutting non-essential spending and contracted and project work while optimizing the company's transportation network. Walgreens additionally cut hundreds of roles at the Deerfield corporate headquarters in November, that's of 2023. In February this year, the retailer announced it will close all of its Village, Maryland clinics in well, MD clinics in Florida, in addition to shuttering six of those clinics in Illinois. In January, some reports said the retailer was exploring the potential sale of Shields Health Solutions, the specialty pharmacy business, which the retailer acquired three years ago and in which it has a majority stake. Walgreens would not confirm those reports at the time of this release. In the past year, the company has also seen a high amount of executive turnover, starting with its former CEO stepping down in September of 2023, followed by the, de by the departure of a slew of other high-level executives not long after. In January, the retailer cut its dividend by nearly 50% to 25 cents per share. Walgreens stock has been down 21% this year, trading at about $21 in the morning of March 18. CVS Health stock is down just 4% over the same period. The company's second quarter earnings is scheduled for March 28. So just wanted to bring you a quick news story. And I'm going to try to keep these news stories as quick as possible. So we are not here all day. We're just going to get right to it. I'm not going to beat around the bush. So if you enjoy that video being as fast as it was and me giving you the news that you can use, please give this video a thumbs up and share it out 
with your family and your friends so everyone will be in the know as to what is happening and let me know in the comments what you think about walgreens closing up two of their distribution centers so guys i will see you in the next video remember that i love you but god loves you more he created only one you be the best you that you can be and when you are go out and spread god's love peace love and light thanks for being here on tommy bikes homestead